when you think about how people who've gone from amateur wrestling to pro wrestling and knocked it out of the park, there's obviously no one better than you. But I'm really curious what your thoughts uh, of Gable Stevenson are. Like he's following your footsteps here. Uh, he, I heard he. First of all, he's a, he's an incredible athlete. Um, uh, you know, you you he not only incredible uh, on the mat wrestling. I mean, this kid, you know, he can do backflips. He's he's really athletic, super athletic, and um, I think he's going to have a great future. I just don't know how entertaining he's going to be. I know that he loves to talk. Uh, a lot of his friends that I talk to say he's kind of a loud mouth, which is kind of good because you want to be able to, you don't want to be shy when you're in this. You know, I was a shy kid. And when I went to WWE, I had to learn how to suck it up and just go out there and put everything on the line. And it was really a hard transition for me. But I think Gable Stevenson will have the same thing. He'll probably, um, uh, you know, have to, you know, break that mold of uh, of being an amateur wrestler because as an amateur wrestler, you show no emotion. You go out there, you focus, and you wrestle, and you go for the pin. It's not like pro wrestling where you have to show people emotion. You, know, you have to show if you're scared or if you're mad or if you're, you know, excited. Um, so th there's, a, there's a lot of um, – um, you have to have uh, incredible charisma. And I think that Gable has that. I just don't know if he how how well he's going to translate that when he starts talking. Uh, I do remember doing a pre tape with him in Pittsburgh, and uh, he he did all right. You know, he didn't do incredibly well, but he he did well. That it was like okay, this kid he has potential. I think he's going to be pretty good. So I expect him to have a great career. I don't know if he's going to have the career I had, but um, I think it, he could. He could definitely. Well, he's out there wearing his gold medal, and I think there's a lot of fans going, <laughs> yeah. that looks familiar. Hey, I, I heard uh, they have him pulling his straps down, doing the ankle lock. So, uh, you know, I, I think I think it's a brilliant thing because the fans are like, whoa, you're trying to be Kurt Angle, and we don't like it. Yeah, the so crowd is chanting, I, you're not Angle. Uh, yeah, you know, it's crazy. I think they wanted that. They, the WWE, they're they're not stupid, man. They they want him to be a heel starting out. That's why I was too. So I think it was a really smart decision to do that. Now you have made him something where the fans care about him. Because, you know, when you come in and they see this Olympic gold medalist, they say, okay, dazzle us. Show us what you have. Yeah. And he's going to have to go out there and prove himself. But if you if you have the fans not like him, where they care about you, whether they love you or hate you, they actually care about you. That's good. And mm -hmm. I think this was good because they don't know who he is. They know he's an Olympic gold medalist, but they, they don't know what he's about. And, mm -hmm. and, and if you turn, if you make him a heel off the bat, it's a lot easier than trying to make him a baby face.